Hey guys, Brian Tong here with CNET.com and we have a first look at Apple's iOS 4.3 beta that's been released to developers but not the general public yet. So we'll show you what's inside for both the iPad and the iPhone. Now the most exciting changes are on the iPad. Apple is now giving users the option to decide if they want the switch on the side to be a mute switch or a screen rotation lock. You'll find the option in the settings and after all the complaining, Apple is finally giving us a choice. Now the sweetest feature is support for four finger and five finger multi-touch gestures. You can now switch between all of your open apps with a swipe to the side with four fingers and you can go back and forth between your apps. Some of them might take a little time to load while you switch, but this is still the developer's build. Now if you want to close an app and return to the home screen, pinch your four or five fingers together and it will return to the home screen. Pretty nifty. And if you want access to the multitasking bar, swipe up from the bottom to the top with four or five fingers and voila, you've got that too. Now you do have the option to turn these gestures on or off in the settings. On the iPhone, we all know that Verizon is offering the mobile hotspot feature which allows you to take your connection and share it with up to five other devices. On the current build of iOS 4.3, you'll also have that option for GSM carriers like AT&T. So if you go to the settings and then network, We'll see the personal hotspot option, but it isn't an active feature that AT&T has made available yet. Now the iPhone version of iOS 4.3 also gives you the option to play your message alert tone up to 10 times every two minutes just to make sure you get your messages. And the screenshot sound effect is slightly different, and I'm not making this up, but you might like it. And on both the iPhone and iPad, there's a new font available called Noteworthy in the Notes app. And let's be honest, that's really the feature you're most excited about. Now these features aren't final, so don't get too attached to them, and Apple may choose to remove them or keep them at any time, but there you have it. I'm Brian Tong from CNET.com, and there's your first look at Apple's iOS 4.3 beta.